Here we have an electric circuit with a two port, this transformer right here. We want to synthesize the bond graph for this system. We're going to start by identifying the distinct potentials. For convenience, what we can do is we can assume that all this is one node and we can make that node our ground and measure all our voltages relative to ground. So we have a distinct voltage here, another distinct voltage here, another here, here, and here. So that's a total of one, two, three, four, five distinct voltages. So we're gonna establish five zero junctions. We have then one, two, three, four, and five zero junctions. The only zero junction that has an associated element is the bottom, our explicit ground. So I'll put an effort source attached to represent explicit ground. Now we're going to insert our one ports and our two ports between the pair of zero junctions that represent the voltage on either side. So if we look, this effort source is between these two voltages, this zero junction and that. This inductor between those two. Now, the trick here, the tricky part here is the transformer. One side of the transformer is between these two voltages and the other side between these two. These two zero junctions or these two zero junctions. The resistor is between those two, here and here. And finally, the capacitor is between these two, here and here. So we'll insert our one and two ports. We're going to have a voltage source that goes between these two and these two. That voltage source is an effort source that supplies the voltage E of T. Then between the next pair of zero junctions, we have an inductor, an I element off of this one junction. The transformer, well, one side of the transformer is between this zero junction and this zero junction. The other side of the transformer is between this other pair of zero junctions. So the transformer then goes between here and there. The resistor goes is a one port, goes off this one junction between those two zero junctions. And finally the capacitor goes between this zero junction and that zero junction. Now we can skip over signing the power directions if we so choose at this junction. Uh, we can then begin to simplify by eliminating the explicit ground that would be this junction right here and any bonds that are immediately attached. That would eliminate all of that. So now, if we begin to simplify by taking all those junctions with only two bonds and collapsing, 
what we're going to find is that this effort source would go and connect directly to that one junction. The one junction would go and connect directly to one side of the transformer. The transformer to one side of this one junction and the other side of this one junction directly to that capacitor. So now if we simplify, our simplified bond graph will look like this. On one side, we have a one junction with our effort source and our inductor. And then this is connected to through the transformer to another one junction where we have a resistor and a capacitor. Our modulus here is going to be the winding ratio N1 divided by N2. Looking at this, we have our voltage source in series with our inductor. They are off of one junction. This loop is connected through a transformer to another loop, which is a resistor in series with a capacitor. There's our finalized simplified bond graph for this electric circuit with a two port.